I'm John from VJ Books, and we're talking books. You know, I'm not really comfortable with these videos, and Virginia's standing off in the wings coaching me. I don't know if she's there for moral support or just to make sure I don't screw it up, but here we go. I'm going to share with you today a couple of books. The uh, first one is Overwatch by Matthew Bentley. Um, I have a stack of books on my bedside table that I read and arcs come in and they stack up and they tumble over and get resorted and and I had just finished a book and this caught my eye. So I picked it up, you know, it's uh, it you know on the back you'll find who who's promoting the book and there's Clive Cussler and Christopher Reich and Matthew Riley. I mean all authors that I read. So I thought, you know, this looks interesting. I'm going to read it. So I start reading it, and about three chapters into it, I realized I had already read it. So I passed it off to Virginia to read. But it's a great book. Um, Bentley is a former Marine officer, 10 years Marine officer, and this is his first book. And I find that very exciting. Um, he talks about a guy named Logan West. And in this book and the next one that I talk about, um, there seems to be a move towards really identifying um, the character and their flaws up front. Um, as we've followed books by Lee Child and others, you've, you've seen the foibles and the weaknesses and the character's flaws as they develop. But with Matthew Bentley, um, you meet the character up front with all of his problems. Logan West is a former Marine Recon officer. He suffers PTSD. He's back home. He's, he drinks too much. He has blackouts. He's fighting with his wife. They're estranged. And that's kind of how the story opens up as, as he's coming out of a blackout. And it's a book. It's a global thriller. You've got an unknown, unknown organization that's looking for an Iraqi flag. It seems like an odd concept, but this flag holds the key to a planned attack in the Middle East. It's filled with mercenaries, special forces, shadow governments, and a race against time trying to come to its final and exciting con conclusion. I really recommend this book. The second one is The Second Girl. By David Swinson. Once again, the blurbs on the back are why I picked it up. This is the arc. It comes out later in the year. And why I'm talking to you about it now is I just read it and I want it to be fresh. So um, look for it in the next couple months. Again, you've got a character that's flawed. This one's a former cop and he gets uh, retired early um, under mysterious circumstances. As it turns out, he's a cocaine addict, and they retire him rather than disgrace him by firing him. And he works as a private detective now for a lawyer, who's another former cop and a former colleague. And the character is, he's troubled. He breaks in or robs drug dealers to supply his cocaine and his cash to help him live. But you can see past it, you know? I mean, you like this character, you know? It, whether it's like, you know, Dexter, you know, the serial killer that everybody loves, or somebody else, this is a troubled cop, former cop, private detective, that's caught up in a mystery about a missing girl. And as it turns out, uh, you know, I don't want to give away the whole story, but the missing girl has been kidnapped by the drug cartel and they're taking young girls and putting them into prostitution and using them and the main character in this book goes out and rescues the girls and he breaks the rules and, and, and that's the dichotomy of this book is you've got the regular cops who are his friends who he's feeding clues and him they can only go so far because of the restrictions of law enforcement, but when they can't go any further, he steps beyond it and he finds these girls. Sorry for the uh, spoiler, but he finds the second girl. Great book. You're going to love it. The Second Girl by David Swenson. I'm John and we're talking books.